Welcome back to community. What's your perspective on life? What attitude do you have towards life? Is it a kind of a positive one, a hopeful one, and a light-hearted one? Or is it more a kind of um, heavy or serious attitude towards life? Do you feel like life is not necessarily always well-meaning with us or do you feel like humans are not inherently good or do you feel like you have to defend yourself often against life against the outside world or do you feel even negative or pessimistic towards your inner states like do you feel like you have to battle a lot with negative emotions within yourself with feeling low, with feeling down, with feeling pessimistic. Yeah, are your own attitudes towards yourself more like uh, negative or limited? And if so, I want to help you with this video to find a true key to changing your the way you feel about life and your perspective on life. But for that, we first need to realize that the way we perceive life or have been for maybe the past couple of decades, right? You in your life, the way you, your attitude is, your baseline energetic attitude towards life, that has been conditioned into you throughout your early years and later on due to your life experiences, due to your, due to your relationships and the impact of the experiences. And so some beliefs have been formed within you about life. Is it more for me or is it more against me? Do I feel free and comfortable and safe or do I feel unsafe and like I need to protect myself? These are things that kind of develop then, not necessarily as rational thoughts. Some of you are aware that they also have those thoughts or those beliefs. Most of the time it's unconscious and this is programming. So. This is a kind of a programming or conditioning that happens. But then we, in our adult life, once we start to become more aware of our own influence or our own creative potential, we realize that certain aspects within us are always there. So many of you would say, well, I really want to create this and I know I have creative powers. Uh, I know I'm part of source energy, but I don't know how to do it, this. Because oftentimes they're not aware of what their basic attitude towards life or themselves are. And so this brings us to how we change this. So the first thing is you ask yourself, okay, am I more pessimistic or optimistic, more positive or negative my, in my base attitude towards life and towards myself? And once you've answered that, you don't need to get into why this is because you know, okay? So then you say, okay, well, it has been more negative for the past 40 years or 30 years or whatever, or very negative and I see life very serious and very dark and very heavy and not very light and blissful and happy and abundant and so on. So okay, so then you're aware of this, you become aware of this because in the next step you will get to see this for what it is because this attitude, your attitude, and we all have our basic attitude towards life, is nothing else but a lens, a pair of glasses or a filter which we use, which we put in place to view life through, from. <laughs> so we, we view what is happening every day in our life through this lens. That's our perspective. And now because it has been conditioned it's unconscious until we become aware and conscious of it, which is the moment right now maybe for you. So then we're conscious of it. So we say, ah, I see I have this filter. Now, 
You don't know yet how to get rid of it, but you see, you have this filter and everything that happens in life, whatever, there is a challenge, there is a new situation, and straight away the fears come up, the negative projections, what if this happens, that happens, I don't deserve this, this can't happen to me, and these bad things always happen to me, and so on. Now, they may be thoughts or just the feelings that you have, but then you become aware, okay, this is how react, I react to new people, new situations, everyday people, everyday situations, me, my own inner world, my life, people in my life, and so on. And then you say, okay, I see this filter and I know why I perceive the world like this and I know why things happen in my life to confirm over and over again that this is the way it is because I have this filter. I have this lens. Now the other guy that's standing beside me that has his rose-tinted glasses on and life is always blissful because he looks through those glasses at everything. He looks at the same stuff maybe that you do, but he is wearing rose-tinted glasses while you have this filter of negativity, let's say, in front of you. So then we can say, okay, my own presumptions about life are more negative. I feel that life is not necessary for me. I feel that I have to guard myself. I feel that I have to shield and protect myself because I don't know what life is going to throw at me. Right, so what if that guy with the rose tinted glasses, what if he was right? Because his assumptions are life is always for me. Life means well. What if that was true? Just ask yourself, what if that was true? So take the filter off to the side. You can always put it back on, but just for that moment then, put it to the side and say, okay, I'm gonna look around. I see there are people talking about life is for me. What if they were right? There are people who walk through life experiencing this every day. Everything in life is working for me in harmony with me, benevolent, well-meaning, and all these positive things are flowing to me. Abundance, well-being, health, love, joy. What if that was an attitude I could choose? Now, yes, I have my conditionings and I have my reasons why up until now I chose my filters and my pair of glasses. But what if I could also get a pair of rose tinted glasses for myself and continue my life path with that one? Because everything is just a matter of perspective. So however we perceive something, it's a perception and it's a projection from us out to there. Now your ego might come in now and say, but things are the way they are. How can you argue with them? If there's negative stuff happening, that's negative stuff. I can't just put on a different pair of glasses and pretend it's good what's happening or, or uh, change it with my words because the reality is that it's that way, the way of, I have always seen it. That's what your mind and your ego might say because once you ponder leaving an old belief system, an old feeling system, uh, old patterns, your ego feels the threat of the unknown. Yes, because the ego wants to keep us safe. This is what you know. You know your old system. You know how to move through life, even though it's negative, but you know how to do this. You don't know how to walk through life with those rosy glasses. So, why not stay here? The other thing, I think that's just fake. They all just lie into their own pockets. They have no idea what they're talking about. You know how life really is and it's not easy and it's difficult and you have to work hard for your stuff and you have to suffer and so on and so forth. This is what, what we know. If that comes up, then feel and know that there is tension within you. And whenever there is tension, because you couldn't have those thoughts, feeling blissfully chilled and at ease, right? So you will feel the tension if that comes up, if your ego talks to you like that. 
And this tension is your inner truth, your inner knowing, which is well-being, bliss, joy. There's no need to protect yourself against anything and so on. This inner knowing is not in accordance with what your ego is saying. And that's the tension you feel. And then you lean more towards your inner knowing. And you tell your ego, it's fine, I understand why you feel like you need to protect us in that area. But you know what? I'm ready for a change in perspective because I am the true master of my life. I get to choose my perspective. I can say, well, this is how it is because this is how it always has been. Or I realize it's only one way of looking at the world, of looking at my life, of experiencing, of viewing, of judging, of commenting internally on life. I can, there are possibly infinite numbers of ways how we can view and experience life. That has only been one. And now, yes, it may take some time for you to develop out of that conditioning, but it's possible as soon as you realize it's only one lens, one filter that I've chosen so far, and I want to change my filter. I want to change that lens. So I am going to adopt more of an attitude. I am part of life. Life is part of me. The energy that is life itself is the same energy that's in me. Otherwise, I wouldn't be alive. I wouldn't be here. It's only one energy. And so it makes sense to then also accept that if I want good stuff for me, right, my heart, my soul, everything is in me, what we all want is we want to experience happiness, fulfillment. We want to experience self-realization. We want to experience love and connectedness and bliss and joy and whatever else. So if this is what's within us, deep, deep inside us, this is what wants to be experienced and lived and felt. And this is the flow of life. It's the same that life wants. Life is in itself, its nature, its expansion, its growth, its creation, its, its singing, its a joy, its celebrating and this is what we want to experience like when we are happy and joyful and connected and celebrating and dancing and singing this is the state we don't want to leave and this is the state of life that's exactly the same that life wants so life wants this for you and life wants to support you wants to support us in being alive everything else is a filter and that is what we get to choose. So we can connect more with this unity with life and allow the life force energy to be in us, to be one with it and not to shield us from this outside life and here are we and or the internal world which you may not like about yourself because it's so negative. Again, what's inside of you, what you see as negative and as low, yes, they're valid reasons, but this is also something we can change and transform if we allow this benevolence to, to grow inside us and to, to ripple through us. But it means we have to be open then to the perspective, life is well-meaning. It means well. And everything in life is for me even challenges, or maybe exactly challenges, especially challenges, they're here for me. And so whenever a challenge comes up, instead of reacting to it, the first thing you say to yourself, that's the conscious path, or one way of a conscious path is, you see what it, what's there, right? And that's exactly what you tell yourself. It is what it is without judging. It just is, right? That's what's presenting itself. That what has, that's what has arisen. It is. So it's not good, not bad, not this, not that. It is. There it is. And then in the next step, you choose your perspective. You can either unconsciously respond with your old binoculars or pair of glasses with your old filters 
and see this as negative and this, that and the other and go into reactivity and into negativity and into all your fear states and so on. Or you choose a different pair of glasses, a different filter. And that it doesn't have to be, oh, that's beautiful. It can be like neutrality. I stay in the observer role. And it may be something challenging, but I'm blessing it because this challenge right now allows me to become conscious of choosing my perspective instead of acting unconsciously and reacting unconsciously. So this challenge right now gets me to say, ah, oh, this is, it is. And in the next step to say, okay, I acknowledge that this is, is there something for me to do? Is there something for me to, to say, to respond, to act on? And if so, how do I respond to this challenge, knowing this challenge is for me? It's not there to hurt me, it's not there to punish me, it's not there to drag me down or to say, I want to throw you off your path. This is there to reassure me on my path to invite me to become clearer of my path and to stand by my decision of the path I've chosen. So I can thank this challenge and then I see, okay, there is a response that's needed from me or an action. There's something I need to do with this. I need to sort something, solve something. Right, how do I want to do this? From my true self, from my positive knowing I can do this, I can sort this frame of mind or frame of attitude, my, my state of attitude. And then I react from that. I respond from that. I act from that place. And afterwards, afterwards, you will see the more you do this, afterwards, the more you will go, wow, I can celebrate the way I dealt with that because I didn't do what I did for the past couple of decades. I actually stayed conscious and I saw what this could give me and I saw this was not meant to hurt me. It was meant to actually get me to grow. And once you do that and once you respond to challenges that way or to any life situation in that way or your internal states in that way, you are growing and you can see this and you can celebrate this. You will feel joy about your own progression, let's say. And it's not an ego joy. It's not like, oh, am I great that I get all these things. It's more like this feels so much more relaxed and at ease because it's in alignment with who I really am, with what I really am because I am the flow, I am the abundance, I am the connectedness, I am the lightheartedness. That is truly me and whenever I'm in that state, I feel the happiest because I feel I'm me. And this is what's there for you, so you can change your perspective with what I have just given you. The first thing is you need to become aware that it's only a perspective that you've chosen, only a filter, and that then in during your day, you consciously choose a different type of filter and see how life responds to you. Because the projection you put out there is what comes back. Everything, everything we label, how we judge, how we see things is nothing but a projection. And this will be reflected back. So I guarantee you, once you take off a negative perspective and replace it with a more neutral or positive perspective, life is going to reflect this back to you. The same with your inner life, your inner world, your own inner attitudes towards yourself. And the more you can become or, or feel the connectedness to your true divine inner self. I hope that this was helpful. I'm going to love you and leave you for today. And we'll talk again next time, if you want to.